When we think of modern poultry barns today in Canada, uh, the challenge is lower than if birds are out on range, where rain and moisture and the pickup of oasis uh, is much greater in the sunlight than what it is in the barn. Coccidiosis can cause significant mortality, in some cases up to 50% or more of a flock can succumb. Moisture, rain, birds outside drinking water from puddles, that's conducive to coccidiosis intake. Because it's found just about everywhere birds are kept in captivity, be that in outdoor housing or indoor housing, it's extremely unlikely that you could raise domestic poultry without coccidiosis being an issue. Part of the signalment or reason of concern would be uh, birds within a, a specific age group. Normally these are young birds that are three to six weeks old or so, although it could be birds of any age that don't have immunity. And it's also important from a backyard setting to not mix older birds and younger birds together because quite often the older bird can be a source for the younger bird. There is probably the potential to exchange disease with wild and domestic turkeys. Typically, imeria or coccidiosis that affects chickens only affects chickens, and those that affect turkeys only affect turkeys, and similar with geese, pigeons, pheasants, etc. If you're talking about small backyard owners, it's a good possibility that those birds contact oasis very early in their life and they probably develop a fair degree of immunity, which really means they might be raising their birds without a coccidious fat successfully, but perhaps not. It's, uh, it's always a different case. There are anti-coccidials that we typically use for chickens and turkeys that I use routinely. So these medications that we would put into um, our small flock um, either broiler or turkey feeds do not require a prescription. But anything like geese, ducks, pigeons, pheasants, or quail, etc., would be an off-label use of the drug by prescription, and they seem to be extremely effective. Typically, we would prompt them. We'd say, would you want plain feed, or do you want that medicated with, with an anticoccidial? And that would be their opportunity then to say, um, yes, I would like it or not, and that sometimes will end up being a discussion uh, between the nutritionist and, and, the, um, and the producer if they're unclear whether it's something that they need. So if you are using um, anti-coccidial medications off-label, your veterinarian should be involved because there are significant issues with respect to toxicity or lack of effectiveness that a veterinarian can help you make decisions about. There's always the potential for toxicity when you're treating species that the product hasn't been tested on. From international studies and research, there are uh, some guidelines that we're able to base our decisions on. So there are products that, that we do use. As far as toxicity goes, medicated feed is designed to be fed only to the species for which it's labeled. It's very important to store medicated feeds away from children, pets, dogs in particular, and horses because it can be very toxic to those species. And it should not be used for laying birds while they're laying eggs because it can be very disruptive for egg production. When you're talking about birds that would go outside or birds that are organic, that never get a coccidious that, you would want to have enough moisture and you would want the birds restricted in a smaller area to promote a greater intake of the actual vaccine organisms or perhaps even field strain so they develop immunity early and then they recover and they'll live a normal life after that. Live coccidiosis vaccines could be used for small flocks if those chicks are coming from hatcheries that are capable of, of applying those vaccines. Unfortunately, the vaccine produces the smallest 
uh, vial size being produced is a thousand doses. Um, so if you have only a couple of birds, 10, 20, 50 or 100, yeah, it's, it's going to be an expensive uh, process, but it is absolutely possible to do that. Um, just make sure that you stay on the exact dose. I do not know of any registered live coccidiosis vaccines for game birds. As with chickens and turkeys, for game birds the early life is the most significant time as well for developing immunity. So I would make their lives as otherwise stress-free as I can, providing uh, comfortable temperatures constant feed and water supply and making sure the litter is as clean and dry as I can provide. We're not looking for a complete prevention. We want the immunity to develop and that would be especially important in the backyard setting because a lot of these birds would, would have a much longer lifespan than they might in a more commercial setting. Some diseases we really want to keep out but this one we really just need to manage well.